Good morning, good morning, hi guys. How are you today? How's it going? So today, I am going to do another what I eat in a day. And um, a lot of you have given me requests on my giveaway video. Yes, I am doing giveaway right now. <laughs> I'll put it, I'll put it right here, go check it out. So uh, many of you requested on a video um, seeing more like recipes um, that, that I do on a regular basis. So I'm gonna show you like my number one breakfast recipe right now and some of you are gonna think I'm totally nuts, totally crazy, but I make banana and ice cream right now for breakfast. And it is December and it's cold and it's snowy out in Minnesota here and um, yeah. I, I still do the nice cream. I still do ice cream for breakfast. I do. And I get really cold. So I'm in my nice cozy warm sweater. <laughs> and I'm going to bundle up in a blanket and I'm going to eat it. But um, I just wanted to show you like my go-to new recipe that I do pretty much every morning. Yeah, every morning. So it's, I love like peppermint and chocolate together. Like that's my favorite like wintry, Christmassy like combination. I love that combo. So I make a chocolate, mint, peppermint, um, banana and ice cream. So if you guys don't know what banana and ice cream is, it's basically frozen bananas, peel them off, put them in a like gallon freezer bag, put them in the freezer, um, and and you have frozen bananas then you just chuck them in your blender with a whole bunch of other stuff that like you just you can make banana and ice cream in any kind of flavor that you want you can put peanut butter in it you can put vanilla powder in it you just <sighs> go wherever your mm. cravings take you <laughs> so um, today I'll just I'll just show you I'll just flip you guys around and show you what I have in here so I have I haven't blended it yet. Three frozen bananas in here. And then I have some cacao powder. As I get from Whole Foods. Um, I put about a tablespoon and a half in here. And then I have the Sun Warrior Blend Raw Vegan Chocolate Protein. I put about a half scoop in there. And then I have these Sweet Leaf Peppermint Drops. So this is um, sweetened with stevia. So it's natural sweetener. And so I put two squeezes into here, two two big drops of that in there, and then just just a couple splashes of this almond milk. I like this almond milk because it's carrageenan free. Carrageenan free. Yeah, buddy! So all the ingredients are, it's crazy. I don't know how I came across this, but I did, but it's just almond milk. It's almonds and water, you guys. That's it. The only ingredients in here. Fantastic. Thank you. So delicious. All right. So we're going to blend this up in my Vitamix. I have a Vitamix, you guys. So I'm going to blend this up, and then we're going to put all the toppings on it. Here it is. Here's the ice cream. What? Yep. Bananas make ice cream. Delicious ice cream at that. And now I'm going to put a whole bunch of toppings on it. This, these are my favorite toppings for this ice cream in particular. Like I switch up my toppings with whatever flavor I make. But this is like, yep, yeah, this is money. These toppings right here. So I have this granola. I have, I love granola in my ice cream. It's a guilty pleasure. Um, this is the cocoa sea salt green free granola and I'm kind of running low on it. There's a whole bunch of like, there's some dried uh, strawberries and raspberries in there and coconut flakes and chocolate goodness. Yeah. And then I have these figgy pops that I get at Costco and when I first got these figgy pops, I was like, ooh, these are terrible. <laughs> but then I started crumbling them up and putting them in my ice cream and I'm just like, oh heaven. Must be missing an angel, isn't there a song like that? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then I'm going to chop up this fresh banana, ripe banana, put it in there, and then some chia seeds. 
good healthy omegas, you guys, and then some hemp hearts for some added healthy protein and good fats. It's all gonna go in there. Everybody's cooking, <laughs> apparently. We are making spaghetti of the meatballs for dinner. Meatballs? Meatballs. You can't eat meatballs. <laughs> no, 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 not those kind of meatballs. Vegan meatballs, these are our favorite meatballs. Seriously. I tried them once and I was like, they're moist. Yes, I did use that word moist. I'd use it diggly. And it's okay. Really good meatballs, seriously. If you guys are just starting out as vegans, this is a really good alternative. Trader Joe's meatless meatballs. Yes, they are made of soy. So they're not they're not something that we eat on a regular basis, but it's it's kind of fun to have meatballs in your spaghetti every once in a while, right? So, try to dose. Try them. Um, and then we have, wow, drama. And then this is just like the easiest dinner ever. And it's just one of those nights. <laughs> Spaghetti and meatballs. Throw it in a pan and it's done. So, we've got noodles already done. Woo! Steam action. Where did the bag go? Oh. You probably threw it away. Eh? Yeah, sorry. So my favorite noodles that are in the garbage oh. are the Trader Joe's quinoa and rice fusilli pasta. Good stuff. So yeah, we have got those going. And then in this pan here, I chopped up some mushrooms and peppers and olives. And then just put it in a pan with the meatballs. Ah! So that's simmering and the sauce is nowhere to be found. There it is. This is the Kirkland organic marinara sauce. We change up our sauces all the time. That's pretty much it, you guys. That's gonna be dinner and that's gonna be our day. We're just gonna wind down after this and um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing here. Tomorrow, you guys, December 10th is my birthday. No, I am turning, boy. yeah. I am turning the big 3-0. 30. How, how, how? How, how when did that happen? How, how, how? <laughs> bye. Every time she sees the camera, she's like, bye. No, we're not ready to say bye. No, yet. Bye. No, bye. No, bye. All right, so tomorrow I will be vlogging. This dude has bye. something planned. This bye. dude has something planned for my birthday. I don't know what it it's is. It's a secret. But should I vlog the day, Shani? No. No. Yeah. I'm vlogging. <laughs> Yeah. Did you hear that, guys? I'm vlogging. It's Sean. My vlog. Sean. All right. Stay tuned for that on Monday. Well, Monday. Really? Yeah, <laughs> really. All right. Sean is gonna be vlogging the day. Well, that will be fun. I didn't expect that. All right. So Monday, my birthday vlog by this dude over here. You guys keep wanting and asking for more of Sean, so I guess you're gonna get it. <laughs> All right, so Sean, the Sean vlog, 
will be on Monday. And then I've got some fun announcements. I'm finally going to make my big announcement that I've been teasing you guys about. Seems like forever. But I'm going to do it. I wanted to turn 30 first and then make the big life-changing announcement. So stay tuned for that. All right, I'm really going to close out the vlog now. Bye, Shani. Go spread some happy, and we'll see you Monday. Leave me some friendly happy birthday comments. I'd love to see them. All right. Now you can say bye, Boop. Bye. Boop. bye. bye.